I've got some really nice, lovely, curly purple kale here. I'm gonna show you how to do just a really rough chop on this. I'm gonna use my hands to just strip it off. You can use a knife to cut down, but honestly, if you wanna get these little bitty pieces down here, it's just easier to use your hands. Did that with a couple of those leaves. So you see they're already kind of roughly in about the size we want them to be. So I could even just tear with my hands. Just pick it up, do that. And that would be a pretty rough chop of that. I'm gonna show you how to cut it up so it's really finely chopped. That's, for me, the best way to make kale, especially if I'm gonna put it in a soup because it cooks really fast that way. So I'm just gonna peel these leaves off of this thick stalk here. Could use a knife, but why use a knife when I can rip with my hands just as easily? So we've taken the, the actual leafy part from two of the leaves and I'm going to see if I can kind of roll it up to a little bit of a log, pack it nice and tight together. I'm gonna just, like with most things, this is pretty common practice, cut down. But really that ability to roll it into that log is what makes life so much easier. But we're doing a fine chop with this kale today, so we actually need to get it more finely chopped than that. You saw I, that it was facing this way, and I've now moved it this way. That way I get a different angle on the kale as I'm cutting it. Again, kind of package it all up into a little log, and then cut down the log, pulling my fingers back as I go. Of course, don't want to cut them. And now I've got some pretty finely cut up kale. I could go another pass at it if I wanted to still, but that to me is right where I want it to be. So that's finely chopped kale.